It's CBB story time. I think it's time for an adventure. The twirly weeds sleepy day. Remember to visit the library, choose read to me to hear the story read to you, or choose read by myself to read the story. One day, the twirly weeds fell fast asleep outside Peekaboo's house. Oh dear! Can the quacky birds wake them up? Tap on them. No. Can the marching band wake them up? Tap on them. No. Can the stop go car wake them up? Tap on them. No. Can the very important lady wake them up? Tap on her. No. Can Peekaboo wake them up? Tap on Peekaboo. There they are. Great Big Who, Toodaloo, Chickadee and Chick. Oh dear, the Twirly Woos are thirsty. They need their tea. There's the fruit tea machine. There's the teapot. What kind of tea will it be today? Help Chickadee and Chick make the tea. It's orange tea today. Oh dear, the twirly woos are so full of tea, they've fallen asleep again. What can Peekaboo do now to wake them up? Where's he gone? I think he wants you to start the music. Pull on the music ring to help Peekaboo make music. Woken them up. There, the twirly woos are happy, and Peekaboo is happy too. It's the twirly rings. Now the twirly woos can go to sleep in their rings quietly. Twirly Woos into their rings to go to sleep. Bye bye, Twirly Woos. Who is trying to wake the Twirly Woos? Peekaboo? Great Big Who? Toodaloo? That's right. How did Peekaboo wake up the Twirly Woos? The Stop Go Car? The Very Important Lady? The Music Ring? That's right. What flavour was the tea? Apple? Grape? Orange? That's right. I think that is one of my favourite stories. Which one is your favourite? 
choose read. The octopod was gliding through the deep, dark water of the midnight zone. When Captain Barnacles noticed some strange lights in the distance, he decided to get a closer look. Let's dim the lights so we can get a better look at them. Swipe the screen to help dim the lights in the octopod. The octopod drove closer and closer until suddenly there was a loud crash. They had bumped into something big. Dashi, shouted the captain. Put us in reverse and pull away. Dashi tried, but the octopod was being held tight by something. Barnacles gave the order. Dashi, lights, let's see what's got us. Tap the screen to help the octonaut see what has caught them. Dashi turned on the lights. He saw an enormous eye staring at them. We mean you no harm. Please, let go of us at once, said Barnacles. No, said the enormous eye. I grab it, I keep it, you weird looking squid. Then the whole octopod started to rattle and shake. The octopod was being pulled apart. Dash it, called Captain Barnacles, shaking along with the ship. Sound the octo alert. Tap the octo alert button. Shellington! Any idea what's grabbed us? Yes, it's a colossal squid, answered Shellington. It's the biggest squid in the ocean. The colossal squid has hooks on the ends of his tentacles, Professor Inkley added, which makes it quite a challenge to get away from him. I've got just the thing, Cap, said Tweak. Wearing this tentacle suit, Professor Inkling will be able to move the arms of the octopod as if they were his own. Inkling used the suit to tentacle wrestle with the squid. But then it squirted an ink cloud so he and the octonauts couldn't see. Can you help the octonauts see by wiping away the ink cloud with your finger? I'm taking you down, way down, said the squid. The octopod stopped shaking and lurched downward. Quasi, to the launch bay, said Barnacles. Here's the plan. We'll swim outside and use our own paws to pry those hooks off the ship, finished Quasi. But every time they pulled out one hook, thunk, Funk. Two more took its place. Dashi warned them over the radio. Captain, there's something heading straight for us. It's a pod of sperm whales, and sperm whales love to eat colossal squid, added Shellington. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that, said the colossal squid. Neither did Barnacles, especially because the squid was still attached to the octopod. Don't worry, we'll keep you and the octopod safe from the sperm whales, he said. Octonauts, prepare all guffs for launch. The octonauts quickly attached tow lines from the guffs to the octopod and squid and pulled them away from the whales as fast as they could. The sperm whales chased after them. Shellington told the octonauts to dive deeper into the ocean.
Sperm whales breathe air, he explained. So sooner or later, they'll have to swim back up to the surface to breathe. Sure enough, the sperm whale gave up the chase and swam up towards the surface. The colossal squid was very grateful that the octonauts had saved him. He tried to put his hooks out of the octopod, but they were still stuck fast. I guess I could use some help after all, said the squid. Operation Untangled Tentacles begins now, Captain Barnacle declared. Can you help untangle the colossal squid's tentacles by tapping on them? Octopod was free. Good work, everyone, said Captain Barnacles. What did the colossal squid spray at the octopod? Was it bubbles, smoke, or ink? That's right. What chased the colossal squid and the octopod? Was it Sperm whales, hermit crabs, or seahorses? That's right! Who helped Captain Barnacles pull the squid's hooks out of the octopod? Was it Pezo, Quasi, Shellington? That's right! What is the biggest creature that you have ever seen? The end.